Hey, what's going on, y'all? Today I got another video on retention for you. So in this one, I want to talk about who are you retaining for? Because recently I fell off retention because I was retaining for the wrong reasons. Now I'm back on retention, you know what I mean? I got a good days, got a good streak of days going. You know, but it's like, I look back and I was thinking on this and it's like, the reason I failed was not because I lost motivation out of nowhere. It was because what I was basing my reason for motivation on, the thing that was motivating me, the reason that was keeping me going on retention was the wrong reason. And when that wrong reason became shaky, when it became uh, flaky, when it was no longer a substantial of a reason, I couldn't keep on retention. You know, and so this is, uh, brings to mind the parable of the man who builds his house in the sand versus the man who builds his house in the rock. You build your foundation on shifting sands, sands that will be washed away with the waters that come, the storms of life, sands that will be, that will be blown away by the winds of time. When you base your construction on this, and for me that was my construction of retention, my motivation to retain, my house and temple of being able to hold my semen within myself. I built that temple on shifting sands, and because I did that, it was washed away. When the storms came, when the temptations tried me, I could not withstand them. But if I were to have built my foundation on rock, on something quite solid, on the most solid reason to retain of all, I would have been just fine. So let's get into what I built it on, what I, what I, my, you know, for me, my anecdotal example of what didn't work for me, what was shifting sands for me, and what I could have done it on, what's worked for me in the past, anecdotally, of course, but this, I think, is reliable and can work for other people as well. And this was a rock for me. So, starting with the sands, I was retaining for a girl, bro. I'll give y'all a second. I'll give y'all a second to boo me, bro. You know what I'm saying? I know you got, like, yeah, bro, I was retaining for a girl. You know what I'm saying? I was retaining for that poem, poem, bro. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I wanted, I wanted some chick. And I was like, man, if I retain, I'm going to give off better signals for this girl. You know what I mean? I'm going to have brighter eyes, I'm going to be more suave and have more testosterone and I'm going to give off the hormones of pure seed that's going to make her more attracted to me. And sure, all that stuff happened, but as soon as she, you know, got into her girly mode and was like all distant and stuff and was, going, was just doing her girl thing like girls do, you know, they're a little chaotic, less sensical than men, less logical, you know, and, and was doing her girl thing, you know, suddenly I, uh, and, and, and also, and also she, she wasn't really even fully doing this at that point. But like, it was just like, I don't know. It, would, it really wasn't even her, it was more so me. Because I based it on her, you know what I'm saying? I was doing it for this girl. Watch the last video, you understand? Now I was doing it for this girl, you know what I'm saying? She's a pretty girl. And it's like, man, I wanted this chick. But when the temptation came because I was so in interested into a girl, I was like, man, I wonder what that would look like. <laughs> and went right to the prom, bruh. And went right to the prom. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I craved it so bad. I needed it so bad because that's the sole thing I was retaining for that when it came to taking, <coughs> taking care of myself, I didn't care to do that so much. And so this goes and leads right into my next point. If I had been purely retaining for the power of taking care of myself, even if it's for like, and I will say this is also kind of shifts in sand, it's kind of like clay or mud or whatever. You know what I'm saying? If I had been retaining for just the power I exude to make sure that I am, uh, you know, strong before other people. You know what I mean? Caring about my, my, uh, my persona, you know, the personage that I give off to others. You know, that, that's, that's something that matters too. At the same time, you know, if I had if based it on that, maybe I would have resisted. But if I had been able to check myself and say, no, 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 this is an expression. I need, I need to express love for myself by not doing this. You know what I mean? I need to take care of myself. I need to take care of my body. I need to make sure that I'm fully functional. I need to make sure that I'm staying on top of my gains, on top of my life, on top of my strength. I need to make sure that I'm not sacrificing strength for five minutes of a little bit of pleasure. You know what I'm saying? And obviously I'm, I'm doing this edging thing, trying to stay in control of it, and I'm still lost, you know what I'm saying? Maybe not as much as, as you know, someone who's just going and whacking their meat like crazy, but still it's like, I lost, you know what I'm saying? And it made me reconsider everything I was retaining for. You know, I know a lot of y'all retaining for girls, a lot of y'all retaining for that personal strength, a lot of y'all retaining just to be cooler than you were before. Listen, all that stuff's awesome, man. You know what I mean? That's a good reason. Those are great benefits and things that come along with retaining. You will be cooler. You will more than likely start attracting more chicks into your life. Chicks will just like be feeling your energy way more because your energy is more pure. You know what I'm saying? There, there will be a lot of benefits. You'll be looking better. You know what I'm saying? And that's another thing that comes with it. 
better skin. You know what I mean? Your skin's gonna glow. They were like, your skin, your skin's gonna glow. Your 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 face is gonna do this and that. How so? Give me the proof. Okay, you got more nutrients in your body. Excuse my language, but it's like, come on. Naturally, you got more nutrients, even if you don't go for the the life force. If you want to call that, you know, mumbo jumbo. It's, there is an, an increased life force that adds to your overall energy and overall vibration. You don't got to believe in all of that. That's quantum physics, but you know what I'm saying? We are all wavelengths. Anyway, you don't have to believe and buy that stuff. You can just buy the basis, you know, e easily to observe scientific fact, scientific fact that you have more nutrients that you're containing in your body, and your body is able to put those nutrients into good use, making your skin look clearer, making your eyes shine brighter. You know, plenty of things, man. Sorry, I'm on break right now. Uh, but, you know, it's like there, there are plenty of things that will logically and rationally be beneficial to you being on retention. And, again, other people are going to note these benefits. These benefits are going to be something that uh, other people are able to pick up on and appreciate. But if that's the whole thing you're basing it on, suddenly when that appreciation dies down a little bit, when you're not getting as much as you want, suddenly you're not getting the gains, you're not getting the benefits, you're not receiving what you needed to, and out of nowhere, when temptation comes, because you know the devil's tricky, he's waiting for that very moment. In fact, maybe he plotted it and made sure that those people pulled back. Maybe he got in their heads and pulled them back a little bit. You know what I'm saying? All of a sudden, you're like, ah, I, I'm not getting what I want. Is retention isn't anything, man. This ain't shit. I'm just gonna bow, back your meat and lose it all. I was like, glow. I was like, she has that sunlight, baby. But man, you know what I'm saying? It's like you gotta watch for that. And really, if you're, let's say you're retaining for yourself, suddenly people aren't messing with you as much. Suddenly you're not getting the attention you once were. Out of nowhere, it's like, hold up. Now, I could buzz my meat, but I'm not retaining for this. I'm not retaining for this benefit or that benefit or that benefit. I'm retaining because I know it makes me a stronger, more healthy individual. And I know that whether or not people are giving me that, man, <laughs> give it time, bro. It's going to come back around. You know, it's on security now, nah, baby. Anyway, you know, it's like... At the end of the day, man, we got to be taking care of ourselves. And we have to do this and we have to prioritize it for us, man. Even if you want to do it <coughs> for God as an act of holiness and celibacy. You know, in the word it says that a young man, a young man, uh, uh, it, it's good if he finds a wife. It's A-OK, -okay, in fact, more so if he stays single because he can put more of his attention on the Lord. Listen, there is plenty and plenty of, of scripture to back up being on retention. So if you're going to do it for God, do it for God. You know what I'm saying? But at the very least, do it out of love for yourself. And if you're doing that love for yourself, well, God is love. So basically, baby, you're doing it for God anyway. <laughs> you can't get around it. You know what I'm saying? So essentially, if you have your reason that's a firm foundation planted on the rock of our salvation, you're going to be good, baby. You're going to be just fine. You know what I mean? You're going to be taking care of yourself and taken care of. So stay on retention, get a good streak going, and don't base it on the wrong reasons. Base it on the right reasons. So that when those storms of life come, you know, not shifting sand, you're on a solid rock. Because when you base it on the wrong reasons, you can get washed away by those temptations. And those benefits, listen, they're good to incorporate, they're good to appreciate, but they shouldn't be the reason you're retaining. The core foundation, the main reason that you should be retaining, is for you. Build all that other stuff up. Attraction, you know what I mean? Health, you know, feeling good, other people think you're strong. It's that and the third. There's plenty of cool stuff that comes along with retention. Having more testosterone, being, you know, just a generally, you know, more natural man. Listen. Like I said, plenty of stuff that goes along with retention, but you got to make sure the foundation of that home is on self-love. All right, y'all. I hope this video enlightened and uh, uh, illuminated the uh, a core aspect of retention that it's easy to lose your nut if you're doing it for the wrong reasons. It's difficult to do it if you're doing it for the right reasons. So, hey. As I said, just make sure y'all retain it for the right reasons. Take care, y'all. Much love. Peace.